get this music turned off. Okay, <laughs> welcome to the world. So if you guys saw my life update that posted on 513, um, you'll know that this is the first video of a series of videos that I think is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let me move my little guide there. Um, what this is going to be is going to be a series of more than likely glam looks um, that are inspired by Disney characters. Um, and we're going to do it in like mini like categories of like movies. And I know there's Disney makeup all over the internet. I know it's all over the internet. It's everywhere right now. Um, but I still want to do it. <laughs> um, I know there's tons of videos on YouTube, but I'm not trying to do like a cosplay kind of makeup. I just thought it would be super fun because I absolutely adore Disney and with my hair I'm really feeling it like when I when I first got my hair dyed one of the very first things that I said to my best friend who did it was I kind of feel like if Ursula was a Disney princess and that like that kind of sparked the idea in my brain and then today I was like I know I need to record I know I need to record and one of my other best friends who lives in Arizona was like sent me a uh, snap of her watching Alice in Wonderland and I'm like you know, that could be fun. That could be a lot of fun. But then I was like, okay, well, do I want to do Cheshire Cat? Or do I want to do, like, the Mad, the Mad Hatter? Or do I want to do, like, the Queen of Hearts? Or, like, Alice herself? Because I'm not trying to, like, turn myself into that character. I'm just wanting to do an eye look inspired by that character. So that's what we're going to do. And I've decided that for, so this is going to be like a series. I don't know what we're going to call the series yet. Um, but for the very first look we're going to do, I have decided on the Cheshire Cat because I love him. He's just so much. He's got quite a muchness, to quote the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland. And I, I, I really feel him right now. Like he's kind of slippery, he's kind of sneaky, but at the same time he can, he can be helpful. But he's sassy and he's so cute and I thought it would be fun and I know I've got that pro pigment um pro fusion palette in there that has this like hot hot pink that I've been dying to use and I couldn't figure out what to use it for well now we know what to use it for and I've got some reference pictures up of him and one of the things that I'm looking at is he's in some reference pictures he's bright pink and lavender in some pictures he's like lavender and mauve in some pictures he's like pink and pink and so like we're gonna we're gonna kind of see where it goes we're gonna see where it goes okay um what i did is i reached into all of my organizers and i got out most of what i think i'm gonna need i've got my case over here as you can kind of see sticking up um and that's got my lippy and my highlighter and my primers and whatnot in it and then I got out the brow product I'm going to use, the mascara I'm going to use with the primer, and the eyeliner that I think I'm going to use, but in case I decide to use the other one, I've got my case nearby. Um, I've got my brushes, I've got my beauty blender, which I don't know if I'm going to use because I'm thinking I'm just going to do a CC cream because of how late at night it is, because I really want the focus to be on the eyes, not so much on um, like the face. And I'm also... Um, mm, I'm deciding because I know I'm going to use my purple highlighter, but I'm trying to decide if I want to use blush, but on the note of the eyes, we are, if you saw my last video of my swatches posted on uh, the 13th, you saw the swatches for these beautiful babies. And I'm definitely going to use the pro pigment because it's got jive and disco in it. And Wanderlust has the Regal and Retro, and I think those are both going to be very useful. Um, as I mentioned, because I've seen pictures of him that are pinks and purples, and pictures of him that are like pinks and pinks and purples and purples. But I also know in the original cartoon movie, he had yellow eyes, like really, really yellow eyes. And I want to incorporate that somehow. Neither of my Profusion palettes have yellow in them. Um, so I pulled out my Take Me Back to Brazil and take me back to Brazil Rio edition palettes because I'm not sure if I want it to be a matte yellow or a sparkle yellow, but it's going to be a yellow. So we've got everything out that we need. And because we can't join Alice in Wonderland without some tea, it's way too hot for hot tea. So it's just some iced tea. It's raspberry iced tea with my cute little 
uh, Nightmare Before Christmas reusable ice cubes. A little bit of raspberry tea. Um, and then, of course, I've got my water. And I'm trying, I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up and we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to get started, as always, with primer. And because I am, do I want to braid? No, we're just going to throw it back. Because I don't, I have still yet to find my ears. I don't know where the heck they went. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use my Super Awesome Velvet Scrunchie. I adore this thing. Ooh, that's a bit tight. We're going to fix that. There we go. Okay. And again, all of my products are going to be linked down below. Um, I've started keeping like a running list <laughs> of my links to my products. So we're going to start out with our primers, our Mary Kay Foundation Primer and our Mary Kay um, Eye Primer because you want your eye look to stay put. And this also gives you a little bit of, the Foundation Primer gives you a little bit of extra sun color. Um, you guys will probably notice my nails do look different. Um, I did take off the blue and I wanted something like really bright and neon. Um, and so I had this really pretty uh, neon pink and some sparkles. And so that's what I did. This nail looks empty, but it's not. It's just covered in like confetti. And I always just apply my primer with my fingers. And I bring it under my chin because I know I have contour that I do down there. And then, of course, I've got my little towel. Now, I don't use a lot of eye primer because a little goes a long way. I don't use a lot of primer period because a little goes a long way. Especially with Mary Kay. So I'm kind of putting this all over my lid, on my outer corner, under my eye a bit because I'm not quite sure what shape I'm going for just yet. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do like a cat eye shape or if I'm going to do like a rounded shape because his eyes are rounded and I'm trying to decide if I want to like put, pay homage to his eye shape or what I want to do. Um, so I do know the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move these guys, put them in my case for right now, and we need to lay down a transition shade. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab this guy. So out of the Pro Fusion Pro Pigment Palette, I think we're going to start with Bling. Which is this guy. Um, because I think he's going to be our best option for a... a um, yeah, because I think the rest of them are too orange. So he's kind of taupey. And handy dandy mirror. Off we go. And then I think we're going to go ahead and switch to, ooh, stay put, stay brush. Switch to an eye crease brush and then we're going to start with Disco out of the Pro Pigment Palette. Oh, look at that pink. And we're just gonna kind of follow the line we just made. We're just gonna apply a bit. And then we're gonna use the brush we used Bling with to blend it out. I think we're going to dip that brush itself into fling. Try and get a bit more. We're just going to kind of build it up. Next, we want. I think we're going to use Regal out of the Wanderlust palette. We're going to put that on the outer V. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, look at that. 
Oh, that is so pretty. And I know this is a brush designed specifically for eye creases. We're going to be a little multifunctional right now. We're going to use the tip of the eye crease brush to kind of blend it in and blend it out, blend it down. And then again, we're going to switch to the pointy brush. Kind of look down. Just kind of use whatever extra pigments on this to just run it under your eye. We're going to blend the top of it up a bit more with a little bit of disco. Give it a bit of that rounded cartoon cheek. All the way up to the brows. Like, I don't even care if it reaches my brows. I just shaped them, so I should have lots of extra room. And then a little bit more regal, or royal. What is that? Regal. Okay, I had it right the first time. So pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Now what we're going to do is we're going to reach in and grab some of our Too Faced concealer because I think the best way to do this, I'm going to close these guys real quick, remove them, I don't want to use my glitter brush so we're going to use this later. I'm going to kind of leave that there. I know it's not perfect, but I don't need it to be. And I think we're going to go with a matte. What we're going to do is we're going to test out the two yellows on the back of my hand. I think we're going to use... Uh, I want it really packed. We're going to use our other little shadow brush. And there's really only two yellows in this palette. I think we're going to use... You know, we're going to combine them. We're going to combine them. We're going to use them both. Pick some up on a little brush. Oh, I just stabbed myself in the eye. Oh, that was not a pleasant. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay. I think that's enough yellow. But we're going to leave it out just in case. We're going to pop back into this pro pigment with our lovely pointed brush. And we're gonna pick up some of this jive, some of this hot, hot pink. Who girl, look at that pink. A little tap and along the top of that yellow and the top of the purple. Ooh. Oh, that is so pretty. And we're not going to blend it out too much. Well, I'm not going to, because I don't want to. If you want to, you can. I don't want to blend it. I want it. Dark. And pink. Yes. Yes. Try and get my tear duct. Okay, that's 
Pop open the BH because I do want some of this yellow on my bottom lashes. Not too much, just enough. Just so you know it's there. One more. pink and continue from the yellow. The outer corner where it's going to be purple. Then we're going to close the pro pigment, open the wanderlust back up, grab a little bit more of that royal. Oh. When you stabbed yourself in the eye and now you can feel it. Love that though. There we go. Fixed it. And now we're just going to take our floofer and add a little bit of glitter. We're going to go with frosting. Do we want to go with frosting? We're going to go with chill. Because it's kind of yellowy. I'm hoping it'll just make that yellow pop. But it kind of did. Yeah. But we are going to pop this open and grab a little bit of that yellow glitter. more of a gold, but it'll work. Perfect. Ha ha ha. Love it. We are going to take the big floofer and just kind of floof the living kaboohoo-boos out of the top. Just because I don't want a super harsh line on the top. I just don't want to like muddle the color. What is in my eye? <laughs> oh, I am in love with it. Okay, I'm going to pop off camera real quick and do my uh, CC cream, and then I'll be back and we'll figure out blush. Okay, so <laughs> I ended up being not quite as prepared as I thought I was going to be. Um, I did got my CC cream on. Um, I did a little bit of contour and sculpting, but not like a whole, whole lot. Um, and I didn't realize that I didn't have any blush in my everyday kit, um, cause I haven't been wearing any. So I picked out a couple that are like kind of pink, but not too, too pink. You've got this one, which is rosy nude and this one, which is darling pink. Um, and so we're going to put a little bit of pink in my face, a little bit of color, just because I am like really whitewashed. Um, so we're just going to use my little angled brush guy here. We're going to use some of the Darling Pink. Oh, that's really pink. Tap off some of the extra. And, because, like, in person, I don't look as pale as the camera makes me look. Okay, so a little bit more. Take it kind of right where I contoured. And then we're going to use a little bit of the rosy nude to kind of accent my contour. And granted, I don't normally use pink for contouring, but the Cheshire Cat is all about pink. So we're going to use some pink. A little on the side of my nose. A 
Okay, I think that should add enough color into our face because I don't want to look like a clown in real life. Who am I kidding? I almost always look like a clown. When has that ever stopped me before? Now we're going to go and add the purple of his stripes to the face with our um, Maybelline Master Holographic Prismatic Highlighter, which is purple. I should probably be using a highlighter brush for this, but I really like a lot of it. <laughs> so I use my face brush. And I just kind of pat it on. Which gives you that like purple glow. Okay, and then I've been kind of undecided, which is why it hasn't been done yet. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and do a black liner because he's got black pupils and black brows, and I want to incorporate the black somehow, um, but I wasn't dedicated enough to make my brows black, plus I don't have a black brow product, and I don't know how black brows would look on me. So I'll be right back. I'm going to do a liner. Okay, so I went ahead and did liner and did lashes. Um, I'm not going to do like full on set of lashes because it's 11 o'clock. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. Um, I am, however, going to pop on, and I didn't have a pink that matched this pink, but I didn't have this pink. So we're going to pop off, do my lip, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the look, this is the lip, this is the eye. Um, I've got a little bit of pink on the rest of my face, but this is my kind of interpretation of the Cheshire Cat. Again, it's not a literal interpretation, it's just looking at reference photos, seeing what colors I kind of see, um, and putting them on my face, and saying how I want to put them on my face, and this is how I wanted to put them on my face for this time. Um, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series, or any of my other random fun. Um, if you are lurking, hello, feel free to lurk. Uh, <laughs> We are, the first movie we are doing is Alice in Wonderland. Comment below if there's any other Alice in Wonderland characters you want to see. Like, off the top of my head, I know we'll be doing the Red Queen. Uh, we'll probably be doing, like, the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. Um, but, like, let me know if there are others down below. We'll more than likely do an Alice, but I think hers is going to be relatively simple because it's just white and then the blue and then the black with the yellow of her hair. But I'm going to look at some reference pictures. We'll get it figured out. Um... And then let me know what other characters you can think of. And I'm I'm thinking, I'm debating between either Beauty and the Beast or Little Mermaid next. So comment down below which one you think should be after we do Alice in Wonderland. Because um, again, a lot of them are going to be kind of like this. It's not going to be the same exact eye shape or same exact like color positioning. This is just how the mood struck me for this one. So we'll see how the mood strikes me for the rest of them. On that note, I hope you stick around for the fun. I'm going to stick around for the fun. Uh, be kind to one another. Also, don't at me. I, I'm new to the making my eyebrows match each other. Um, I'm trying. I'm learning. Sisters, not twins. I realize it makes it look like I'm quirking my eyebrow. I realize it makes me look like I'm making funny faces all the time. Um, I am working on that. It doesn't help that this side of my face is naturally lower because of medical issues. All the fun. Um, but... I'm working on it and I'm trying to make this one, like, because this is my goal. This is the girl that's like perky in there and hi. This is the one that's like, I got out of bed, right? That counts. So we're trying to make this one match this one. Maybe I just need more coffee. Um, anyways. I'll see you guys around for the next video. <sighs> I'm out of breath. That was a lot. I'll see you guys around. I hope you stick around for more fun. Um. I will see you guys next week. Well, actually not next week. Oh, wow. I will see you guys Wednesday. Sorry about that. My brain is like jumping ahead. So I will see you guys Wednesday. Don't forget to be kind to one another. Be kind to yourselves. Be the change you want to see in the world. And don't forget, especially right now, a smile is infectious. I'll see you guys later. Bye.